Hello, hello. Welcome back to yoga with me, Leslie Germain. We're going to do another 20, 25 minute flow together. So let's get on our mat and get started. Child's pose. Come to your breath here. Notice how it feels as you inhale to the belly. Allow the belly to soften. And then walking your hands over to the right for a deep side stretch along the left side of the body. Forehead can come back down to the ground. Walking your hands back through center, over to the left. See if you can push your sit bones back here while pulling the ground with the right hand and pushing with the left. Take a deep inhale. Coming back to center as you roll yourself up into tabletop position. We'll go through a few cat cows here as you drop the belly, gaze forward. Exhale, round the spine. Cat pose. And moving through here, a few rounds. If you feel a little bit more like you need some movement, maybe shift your hips forward and back. Start to draw big barrel rolls with the chest. You can even do shoulder rolls, like a spider or a serpent. Whatever you feel like. And then bringing your hands a little closer to your knees as you bring your fingertips to face towards your knees and then begin to lean back here and forward again. So once again, finding your own freedom to play, maybe you start to draw circles with the chest and just feeling it out, what feels nice and stretchy in those forearms. Awesome, tucking the toes, beginning to sit back on your heels, shake out the wrists. Hands come down to the ground, tabletop position, tucking the toes, protracting the shoulder blades, so pushing the shoulder blades away from each other, a little dome up here. Lifting the knees off the ground just a few inches. Turbo dog. It's like you're about to sprint like Sonic the Hedgehog. Start bringing all that energy in towards the center of your body. Right here, keep lifting those knees just a few inches off the ground. And maybe you take that left foot off the ground, taking the left knee over to that left tricep. Mm -hmm. It's like half crow almost. And then the left knee comes back down right knee into that right tricep. Exhale down. Lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Keeping a nice deep bend in those knees so you can really push the ground away and straighten the back as much as possible. See how you can play here to create more length in the spine. Because you'll notice if you try to straighten your legs immediately out of the gate, your spine will usually have to compensate as well as your shoulders and it might not feel as open. So bend the knees and then push and open that front body. Hips go up a little higher, beautiful. Start to tiptoe yourself to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften your knees, forward fold. Two more times, inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, lower. Last one. Exhale. Bending your knees here as your hips sink into the same height as your knees. Sweeping the arms up, chair pose. Notice if you sink your weight back towards your heels, or forward into your toes, how that feels differently in your chair. And then inhale as you begin to straighten your legs, reach your arms up overhead. 
Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, slap back. Exhale, hands come down. You step the right foot back. Left foot stays forward. Low lunge. Drop the back knee down to the ground. Hands come to the front knee. And feel free here to sink those hips really low. If you're able to, you might be able to scoot that front foot forward just a little bit more and sink a little bit deeper into the hip flexors and that right back thigh. Hands come down to the ground, tuck the back foot. Inhale, send that left leg up high. Explore whether the hips stay stacked, square, or you draw big circles with the leg. It's up to you. Play, feel. Inhale, kick the left leg up high. Exhale, bring that left foot through once again. Dropping that back knee down to the ground. Left arm reaches up for a twist. Maybe that back knee lifts. As the left arm reaches up overhead. And we're gonna slowly find our way into side plank. So heel toeing that front foot, that left foot more towards center as your back heel pivots knife edge side. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you keep heel toeing that left foot back to meet the right. So they're right in front of each other. We'll be here for three and two. Last breath, exhale, high plank, downward facing dog. For this downward facing dog, remember to bend your knees if you need to and really melt the heart through. So it's sort of like an Iyengar where he's trying to push his heart or his forehead down to the ground. One more breath. Exhale, rolling yourself forward into high plank. Inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Everything down. Pushing the tops of your feet into the ground as you push your hands down. Inhale, cobra pose. Maybe your hands reach off the ground. For three. And two. One, exhale, lower. Walk your hands in a little bit closer towards the belly button. Push the hands, lift a little bit higher. Keep a bend in the, shoulder, the elbows so those eye the elbows are sh pushing themselves forward or pointing forward, I should say. Bring the shoulder heads away from each other. One more breath. Exhale, lower. Tuck the toes, draw your seat back to your heels and then lift your hips up for downward facing dog. Inhale, sending that right leg up high. Explore. Exhale as you bring that right foot through. In between the hands, drop the back knee. Hands come to knee. Once again, settling in. If you're feeling a lot of pressure on that back knee, you can always place a blanket or another uh, mat underneath the knee. Mm -hmm. Exhale, hands come to center the front foot, tuck the back foot, lift that right leg up high. Exhale, knee to nose, hold. Inhale, kick it back out. Exhale, knee to nose, hold. Lower the knee a little closer to the mat. And then back up again, take it back out. Let's do it one more time. Towards the chest, let the knee lower. Lift up to the chest and flick it through. Does that help a little bit? Maybe. So drop the back knee down, twist over to your right. Right rib cage reaches back, left rib cage reaches for the thigh. Maybe that back foot tucks as you lift the knee. And we're gonna find our way into side plank here as we heel toe that front leg halfway towards the other. And now we're balancing on the pinky edge side of that back leg. Maybe you keep heel toeing that foot as we start to gain strength. Top arm reaches up overhead for three and two. One exhale, high plank. 
shifting your hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale, send that left leg up high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, back up. Exhale, knee to nose. Knee a little closer to mat. And lift up. Lower it to the mat. And pull it up to the chin and flick. Yeah. Right leg also comes forward to meet the left. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, heel toe your feet out, mat distance apart. Low squat, malasana. So this is your moment to play with crow pose here. Doing a little wrist circles. Bringing your hands down to the ground, begin to lift the hips up high. So if your hands are too close to your feet, it's gonna be really hard to get your knees up high on your armpits. So feel free to walk your hands out a little bit further. Hips lift as you get your knees up into the shelf of your arm. Begin to lean your chest forward, forward, forward. Maybe the left foot lifts, maybe the right foot lifts, maybe both feet lift. Keep shifting the chest forward, looking 10 feet out in front of you. For three, claw the ground. If this is easy for you, straighten your arms a little bit more too. And one, exhale, slowly lower back into that low squat. Push the ground away, inhale, rise. Exhale, mountain pose. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Sending that left leg back. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. And then dancing with our warriors, we straighten the front leg, squeezing those inner thighs in. Those heels are drawing in towards your midline. Arms reach up, palms touch. Exhale, warrior two. Two more times, inhale, squeeze. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Seeing yourself in half moon pose and going there. As you start to reach your right hand towards the front of the mat, left leg reaches up high. If this is hard to find balance, find a block or a water bottle, anything that's about a foot high or so. Bring that out diagonal to the right foot, as then you stack that left hip over the right. So oftentimes you're gonna be trying to square your hip here as we start to develop strength. See if you can really lift the left hip over the right, kicking that wall behind you with the left foot, and then the left arm simply reaches up. We push the ground with the right foot, maybe even the right hand, so we can feel more lift in our body. We start to feel a little lighter. Yes, one more breath. See it, warrior two. Believe it, find it. Beautiful. Inhale, straightening the front leg. Exhale, triangle pose as you reach the right fingertips towards the front of your mat. Left hip goes back. Hand drops down as your left arm reaches up overhead. Working on getting more left shoulder over the right. Maybe you stay here, maybe you reach the left arm up overhead, palm facing down. If you want to build a little bit of strength here, right hand lifts off the ground towards the left chest and draw the belly button into the spine. Four, three, and two. Last breath, exhale, bend the knee, extended side angle pose, elbow to knee, or maybe down to the ground or that block on the inside of the front foot. Now it's your choice. Maybe you feel very happy wherever you went. Maybe you wanna go for a half bind or a full bind. You choose. We're gonna be here for a little while. So play. If you came into the bind, consider straightening that front leg for a bounded triangle as your torso folds forward over that front leg. Mm -hmm. Notice where you can soften. And don't worry about straightening the leg immediately. It takes time. It might straighten an inch. It might straighten four. Eventually, with enough practice, you'll find more flexibility. One more breath. Okay, releasing the hand. This is an option to play right here for a little crow action. So if you wanna go into regular crow, go ahead. But if you wanna play with this firefly crow, I'll show you first and maybe watch. That right leg 
will be wrapped around. So if you went through the bind, you release the right hand. I'm going to try to reposition myself so you can see me. <laughs> so we were in bound to triangle maybe, or you might have been in the bound and extended side angle. You're going to drop that right hand out to the side underneath the leg. So then you can come into like a pigeon foot here. You're going to really squeeze a hamstring curl around that right side. And then you're going to simply hop that left foot forward until this side comes into crow. So that left knee floats up, squeeze the right leg into the right arm. So it's like a pigeon crow. And if you want to come into firefly, start to straighten that right leg. Look forward, smile. There you go. Exhale, malasana. If you were in regular crow or funky crow, whatever we're gonna call it, pigeon crow, firefly crow, comment down below, let me know. Inhale, push the ground away. That's one side. Woo, how's that right side feel? Close your eyes, pause and feel. Maybe some hip circles here. And switch direction. All right, next side. Inhale as you sweep your arm up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. This time the left leg, no, the left leg stays. Right leg comes behind you. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. So that left leg is forward, right leg is back. I'm just gonna switch my position so my voice is speaking to you and not behind me. Okay, make sure that left leg is forward. Inhale, pump the arms up. Squeeze those inner thighs in and in. As you exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Find that inner fire. One more. Exhale. Yes. And we're going to come into half moon pose on the left side. See it in your mind's eye. And then start to transfer the weight into the left foot. As you lift the right leg parallel with the ground. Left fingertips can reach the ground, a water bottle, a block, and then pushing that left foot into the ground to lift. Maybe one day the left hand comes to heart. As we breathe here for three, slow and steady breaths. Can you find peace within, stillness within, even through the struggle? One more. Now see that warrior two, you were just there. As you slowly lower the right leg, warrior two. Inhale, left leg straightens. Exhale, triangle pose. Once again, you have the option of resting here for a moment and just feeling the expansiveness of your triangle. For many people, it's one of their favorite poses. If you wanna make it not one of your favorite poses, take the right arm up overhead, reach the left hand to the chest, or even parallel with the right. Oh yeah, now you might be yelling at me. This is not my favorite, Leslie, for three. But you're gonna get stronger, and two. And one, warrior two. Extended side angle, elbow to knee, top arm reaching up overhead. And whatever you did on the other side, repeat here. Whether that is bringing the hand down to the block or ground, going for a bind, half bind, feeling expansiveness, and then if you went into that bounded triangle, begin to push that left foot into the ground as you straighten the knee just a little bit. And so you might have these micro pulses until one day you feel nice and steady and you allow your head to reach for the ground, twisting, spiraling the rib cage open to the sky. Okay, so now we're gonna try that weird crow, firefly crow. Once again, if you want to play with regular crow here, just bring both hands and frame that front foot. Come into that low Malasana garland pose. But if you want to come into that weird one, you want to dip that right hand underneath so it's reaching underneath the left foot leg to the diagonal. Squeeze, hamstring curl. So it's super important that you're squeezing your arm or you're just going to slide down your leg onto your butt, which is fine. But if you don't squeeze, then you're not able to bring that right foot forward. So you start to shift your weight forward. Taking that right knee into the right tricep, squeezing, let's do right knee first actually. Okay, right knee to right tricep, coming onto your toes, feeling a little bit of weight transfer, and then begin to squeeze 
that left arm, lifting the foot, chest goes forward, hips lift a little bit. Maybe the left leg reaches out for that firefly crow. And smile. One more breath. Straighten your arms a little bit if you're in a regular crow. Yes, exhale. Malasana. All the way down to Navasana. Boat pose. Half boat. Mm -hmm. Starting to bring your palms so they're facing down to the ground and pulsing for 10. Nine, if it's too much, drop a foot or drop both feet. And then switch feet if you chose to drop. Four at five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release for a mini Shavasana. Ooh. How are we doing on time? I'm gonna check really quick because I didn't bring a timer out here. Okay, cool. Perfect, perfect, we're on the ground. We're gonna do one more ab exercise because I know you guys love, love, love your abs. This one's more of a scissor ab work. So your hands can come down to the ground as you lift your head and shoulders off the ground. Legs lift, and they go out wide. So they're reaching toward the outer corners of your mat and then cross the right over the left. Open out wide again, left over right. And switch and open. Scissors for 10, nine, Eight, go a little quicker if you want. Seven, six, are we still breathing? Five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, you did it, oh my goodness. Whew, how's that core feeling? Awesome, fired up? Okay, good, I hope it's fired up. Draw your knees into your chest because we're gonna try one more crow of your choice. Okay, rock yourself forward, malasana. Low squat, hands come down, bakasana, crow pose, chest goes forward, chest goes forward, lift those toes. Mm -hmm. If you're feeling nice and strong, we just activated our core, go for a wrist tap as your right toes reach for the right wrist, and then bring it back up. Left toes for the wrist, bring it back up. Both at the same time, bring it back up. If you wanna be a little bit crazier, feel free otherwise. Find your way down, all the way back into your boat pose. Half boat, all the way down to the ground. Ooh, take a breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Two more. Okay, we're gonna do a little twist, bringing our knees pointing up. Have your feet mat distance apart. Allow your knees to fall over to the right. Arms go out wide, gaze to the left. Taking the left hand over to the right. Left knee over the right knee. Sideline pose. So continuing to reach your hands over off the mat and then allow your legs to fall apart into a nice big et or Y. So as you start to straighten the legs, right foot stays forward, left foot reaches back. So we're gonna do a little releasing of the psoas, a nice little side stretch here, and then start to play with your pelvis. So right now your left hip might be over the right. See if you do a little cat cow tucks, just shifting the pelvis forward and back. It's almost like your torso is laying on its side, but the bottom of your body wants to be in Shavasana. And keep reaching, reaching, reaching. A little cat cow tucks. Awesome. Open out wide into your sea star. Legs come back to the mat. This time knees fall to the left as you gaze to the right. So you can stay here the whole time especially if you didn't feel anything at all when we brought our legs out long into that Y position. This is beautiful, it's lovely, it feels good. Maybe you stack the knees on top of each other, right knee on top of the left, maybe the right hand comes over to the left for sideline pose. We're gonna dome the back here, protract those shoulder blades, reach away from you as that right leg reaches back, left leg reaches forward into the Y shape. 
and then play with those pelvic tilts here. Just these small little movements. Wherever it feels good, stay there. Beautiful. Exhale, release into a wide Shavasana. Take up space. Close your eyes. Go inside. Starting to slow down your breath. Notice all that energy you just cultivated. Set an intention for your day today. Whether it's to be more kind to others, more generous or graceful for yourself. Whatever it needs, whatever you need to feel more of. Where do you feel that you're lacking? Or what are you doing too much of? Feel free to stay in Shavasana as long as you need. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste.